Okay, so today is uh, April 25th, and I'm super tired again. But in all fairness, I haven't gotten a chance to rest since I said I was super tired last time. It's late at night. It's only 11 o'clock, but geez, it feels like 2 or 3 in the morning. Um, we were in the van a lot, and we're getting to the end of the tour. So, in fact, I've only got two shows left before I go back to L.A. May 5th is the day that I arrive. Don't expect anything on May 5th. Probably May 6th I'll start making some videos from L.A. But, jeez, road wear. It's really, it's a true thing. We got into a shouting fight in the van. Um, about, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't even know if I should talk about this on the internet. But we got into a shouting fight in the car about whether or not we think Anonymous is a good group. I, on one hand, believe that Anonymous doesn't necessarily always do things that I agree with. But for the most part, I think that they're a pretty good organization that maybe uses things, cyber warfare, that perhaps isn't good. The people that I was in the van with were not fans of Anonymous. They think that the people in Anonymous should, if they're really thinking that truth should be shown, uh, should say who they are. But I, I mean, they, they don't grasp the fact that the majority of the time that they're doing these cyber attacks, it's against, you know, governments. Um, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert, but one of the big complaints they had was, like, the Ashley Madison thing. And it's like, oh, they leaked all these Ashley Madison people's names and, like, hurt all these people that weren't big businesses or corporations. And, and first off, let me just say, I don't think it's anybody's business, but that's not a victimless crime. If you're on Ashley Madison, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, I'm not saying that I want to judge people, I'm just saying that that's not like they're they're attacking completely innocent bystanders. These are people that are on a webpage cheating most of the time, most of the time, cheating on their wives. Um, but no matter how you look at it, that wasn't, as far as I know, an anonymous attack. That was just a hacker attack that gets lumped into that thing. I think that, that was Team Impact. I might be wrong. And I'm not saying anything bad about Team Impact. In fact, I'm neutral to the whole situation. But the things that I think that uh, I'm not super familiar with, but that Anonymous has done, was the and I think it was like 2009 during the Iranian um, uprising, the, the Iran tried to shut down the internet. And from what I understand, uh, Anonymous was able to make it so that people were able to get videos out uh, about what was happening in there. Now that's just one tiny thing that they've done, but I think it's a good example of why that I think that they do some important work. Now, do I agree with everything they do? I guess I would say I do. But I'm not going to say I agree with everything they do. I agree with everything that I understand they do. Um, did I like the PlayStation Network going down in 2011 or 12 or whenever that was? Not really. But from my understanding, that wasn't their intention, and they didn't actually do that. I think that they were attacking different ways, and somehow the PlayStation Network came down either through somebody that was a subsidiary of Anonymous or... And again, I'm not trying to pretend to be an expert. I'm just an idiot on the internet. My guess is PlayStation got hacked. They couldn't uh, take in like credit card information. They couldn't make money. And they were like, well, we're not going to have the PlayStation Network if we can't make any money on it. it. Might be completely out of my league. That's just my gut instinct since they said that they didn't cause the PlayStation Network to go down. They only hacked Sony. I take their word for it because... In my mind, a lot of the things they do um, are good. Uh, I would say, at the very least, I'm a sympathizer. Not necessarily a supporter, but a sympathizer. So, but, <coughs> all that aside, it shouldn't be a passionate topic that people are yelling in the van about. It just goes to show we've been on the road with each other for far too long. And it's really good that we're going to have a break. So, <sighs> That said, I gotta get some sleep. It's finally gonna happen tonight.